Before I get to making my own custom level, you can finally do that now in Fall Guys. I need to get in here and get some ideas, see what these Fall Guy team members are making out here in the creator. Okay, and if you want to play this round, I think they're on to the second round now. What we have here is the Creative Creator Round playlist number one, of course, that I'm playing on. As you can see, I'm really uh, trained up pretty good on this Fall Guys. I passed on this game a while ago, and now I'm getting back to it now that you can make your own levels. And there's going to be fresh levels all the time now in this creative creator round playlist there's only like i said rounds made by the fall guys team but i think what the idea is going to be is we're going to make our own levels and eventually those are going to be incorporated up into the creative round playlist as well but so far we're on playlist what one two and i haven't seen any from the community yet so i think they're just taking their time making sure enough are built up that are of a high enough quality you know i haven't made one yet mine's not in there so they're probably waiting on me to get one made and but like i said first i want to check out these that the fall guys team made and you guys can give me some of your ideas too and then i can incorporate those if they're good ideas into my very first fall guys custom course my first level whatever you want to call it but uh we're moving right along here i'm on to the second course here i made it past the first one if you don't already know fall guys they knock you out if you get eliminated and it's uh, you know the final one standing wins so i've got some wins under my belt here here at this point i love that little uh, uh not this obstacle i hate the hot dogs they look like the hot dogs at 7-eleven just twirling on the thing i hate those i hate this too they're pushing me uh, holding me back there and sometimes those ones at 7-eleven will hold you back too if you get a bad batch and you'll be held back in the bathroom for quite a while but this obstacle here really set me back oh no here's more hot dogs i hate them i'm not going to put these in my level i don't care if you guys think it's a good idea and say put a bunch of you know what maybe i will maybe i'll make it real uh, uh, like real excruciating you know, i'll make a real excruciating level and just put a whole ton of them hot dogs but first i would like to start out with more of a fun one i slipped and slid right into the uh, hot dog god dang and i know it's pride month but i don't need to be slipping and sliding on too many hot dogs here all right so once i get past this one there i end up qualifying and i'm moving on to the next round 25 are remaining but we're picking them off so i'm definitely wanting to add some of that pink goo to my level and i really really like these spinny things too. I already started working on one level and I got some objects that this cannon will toss at you. I like that too. I don't see any of those in this level, but I do like the verticality here, the uh, the uphill battle, if you will, of really working your way uphill here. I like that. Maybe some uphill with that downhill pink goo would be a whole lot of fun. Or maybe just like a whole course of that pink goo and you got to dodge the, the objects that are tossed out of that cannon like I was talking about. And you just got to really slip and slide it and try to avoid those obstacles and i do also feel like these levels are a little bit more difficult than the standard levels that have been in the game the standard playlist maybe it's because i played those more and i'm more familiar with those obstacles and these are kind of brand new to me so i you know there's a little bit of trial and error as you can see here i get booted right off the god dang platform there but you never give up and fall guys keep working at it look no one's qualified yet i'm set back but I'm still in it. Look at all the different obstacles we have here. Now here we go again. My favorite right into the finish. I love that. That's a fun way to finish. I might have to incorporate something similar like that into my level. And these checkpoints here. Also, you know, you got to know when to put your checkpoints out too. Now, maybe I won't put any checkpoints in mine. What do you guys think about that? But these Fall Guys team members did a pretty good job. But see, they're getting paid to do this. Now what we're going to have to be up against is a whole paid team and then we're going to have to make these for free and they're going to put them in their game and we're not going to get paid nothing for them but at least you know we'll have an endless flow of new levels thanks to the course creator that they finally added to the game so you know i'll, I'll make a, at least one of them for free but you know i wish they'd pay us too that'd be nice give us a percentage a small percentage of the profits of this free-to-play game they make their money on microtransactions and everything like that you know i didn't put any money into the game yet but i'm sure a lot of people did like me when they found out you know what i'm gonna return to the game because they're adding a course creator and now i'm gonna play all these maps that people like me are making and not getting paid for it but yet that's what brought them in to spend the money so we deserve to get paid for our hard work here you know what i'm saying but anywho you know some of us just do it for the love of it and to keep the game going and, and fertile with new maps so i also like these air fans here i like that i don't like how they set those up though I, I got another 
idea for that where you kind of hide the air fans and there's some openings and you got to try to uh, kind of avoid them, if you will. I don't want to give away all my ideas, but hey, we're still in it, man. Final seven. Here we go. We're going to see if I can get past this. Another fall. Oh, no. There's there's hot dogs. This isn't looking good for me here. That's my uh, my weakness here. Hot dogs are my weakness. Oh, man. And those things send you back flying. Now, you know, there's you got to strike a good balance between challenging and fun. You don't want it to just be too much of a challenge and no fun at all. You know what I mean? So I think some game designers do that. They think, oh, well, a game, it's all about the challenge, but that'll keep players returning. But if they're not having no fun, then what's the point, you know, of spending all that time in the game? So there's the winner there, and we didn't get the win on that one, but there's also, uh, I'm going to do another little playlist. I'm going to check out the special creator made rounds. This is uh, Hopscotch Havoc here again by the Fall Guys team. We're going to see how we do here. There's only uh, 10 of us now starting out. There are 10 qualifying spots, I should say, so 10 that can make it to the next round. This is kind of interesting. It's just a little hop up and down, hop up and down. You got to use that, that little dive maneuver. I love that too i really use that to my advantage as you uh, saw in one of them replays earlier as i highlighted that you uh see i'm using it there some of these guys don't know what they're doing how to use that but uh that's what you got to do and there's a real oh interesting finish to this too i don't know how they make them to where they don't collapse and which ones they is that just random i guess that's just randomized that's really cool there's some really cool obstacles in this game man you know i uh, kind of underestimated this game i thought oh it's too simple but it's it's fun, it, you know, if you just want a simple uh, platformer. I haven't gotten into a good platformer in a while, so this is really scratching that old platforming itch, and I love that. So, I see I qualified here. There's four of us qualifying, and we got to see there's 50 seconds left about, and we're going to see if we can get some, what, six more qualifiers here. I don't want to give any spoilers away, but something really interesting happens at the end of this round. Uh, did I finish fourth? I think I finished about four, I was a fourth qualifier keep that in mind when you see what happens at the end here but I love the customization all these fall guys look so different and unique and another really cool thing that they do is there are microtransactions but you don't have to spend any money to unlock cosmetics if you don't want to there's a daily deal that really keeps me coming back checking okay I got a little bit of free coinage to spend here and uh, but I'm waiting on a deal so there's a new deal on different cosmetics every day Look, I got the win just for qualifying because nobody else, I guess, uh, there weren't enough qualifiers. So they what they do, give all four of us the win. I like that. So I ended up getting a the win there. I'm going to check back, like I was saying, and see if I can get some new cosmetics. But what I really want to do next time is have a creative round created for you guys. I'll show you how I pulled it off and try to incorporate some of your ideas. If you got any, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, this has been Rusty Fluger. Rusty Fluger, over and out.